Hello there Xbox One gamers, my name is Anthony Allen, welcome here to my channel. I am an official Xbox ambassador and here in this video I'm going to show you how you can play music from an external device or a storage device like a memory stick on your Xbox One. Yo, let's join forces, hit the subscribe button. So a lot of you don't actually know that you can download applications directly to your Xbox One. A lot of people think that it's just literally a game playing machine, but there is a lot more to the Xbox One and I'm going to show you here today. So as of 2020, early 2020, this is what the dashboard looks like. Depending on when you are watching this video, your dashboard might look slightly different. And of course you will have different games and so forth that you've been playing with or using that would be in your top tab here if you're watching in early 2020. But this should still be applicable and the information that I give you should still teach you how to do things like this with your Xbox One and find applications like this. So stay tuned, even if you're not looking for this app. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to locate the store. So as of 2020 what you can do on your dashboard is you move across I've got the store here, but I'm just going to, for demonstration purposes, go down to the store tab and you want to click on store. Now, of course, you have all of the amazing things that Xbox have to offer here that you can buy. And there are also free applications and games that you can find. The application that I'm going to show you today is 100% free at this current time. Now, we're going to move down and what we're going to look for is the search actually no, we're going to apps <laughs> so we're going to go into apps well, at this point what you want to look for is the name of the app that we're looking for of course you can search via category so if you you know you're looking for it via category I mean you've already found it there it's a popular music app and you've, you've found it already uh, but we're going to use the search for those of you who may not have that for whatever reason or there is a more popular app that has taken over or just to basically show you how to do this. Um, so we'll go to search app. Then you start searching for the name of the app that you've either heard about here on my YouTube channel or elsewhere. The application we're looking at today is called Simple Background Music Player, I think it is. You wanna then select this. Once you've selected the app, you would then have the chance to install. So underneath free, you would normally press get, but I already have the application. So it actually gives me the option to launch. And that's what I'm gonna do in my case. I'm going to select launch. But before we do this, I'm gonna show you what the information is that's being presented to you. So of course you have a description of what the application does. It's also very useful if you're using selected file types of music on your memory stick or storage device uh, that you have plugged into your Xbox One. So that is all that information there and it's basically giving you a brief description as to what the application does. I'm gonna close this now. You also have where it's available. So, oops, I've gone on to the reviews. Oh, I'm skipping ahead here. <laughs> you also have where it's available if you scroll down. So you can see that this is available for Xbox One. You were then given screenshots so you can have a look at what the application looks like when you're using it and give you a better idea of what you're downloading. Then you have the copyrighted material, permissions and terms of transaction and those legalities down below. So we're going to go up here. Of course, we have reviews. So much like any other app store, you have reviews of what the application is like. You can see how many people rate it a one star and you can see how many people rate it a five star. And you can also scroll down and you can read some of these reviews and you can filter the reviews that you see. All reviews, for example, or ratings, or maybe we can go for a four star rating to see what people are saying about the app. So now we're on to the next part. Oh, also, Peggy 3 is the rating for the application. So this, much like a film rating, is telling you the age certificate of the app and who's applicable to use the application. At this point, I'm going to click launch. So now it's opening up the app. Here's the most important part of using this application. So on your memory stick or your storage device, you need to call a folder containing your music Xbox Music Library and make sure you use capitals for each of the words X capital box music with a capital M and library with a capital L in that folder is where you would put your music and that is so this application can locate your music 
Once you've done this and then you've plugged it into your Xbox One, and you've downloaded this app, you then press Y. And you can see there that it's able to find your music. And much like our old school gaming systems where you used to be able to plug a CD into the uh, um, console, it's, it's basically the same. You can play your music in the background while you're doing things. Maybe you're cooking, maybe you're cleaning something up temporarily, maybe you're doing some work. But you can use your Xbox One as that music player much like our retro gaming console systems uh, from back in the day. So just a short tutorial today just showing you a little bit more information on how you can download applications like this on your Xbox One. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this and I'd like to see you in the next video because I have more to teach you, more to show you, especially on Xbox One. I have gaming content on my channel as well. My name's Anthony Allen. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Love to see you in the next one.